Greetings from Sheep Geeks. Get ready to jump into the arena. This is where it happens, folks. Topic in question today is PvP downranking. Season 1 is finally here, and with our previous video on downranking, we wanted to pull up the PvP version, just in case you need a refresher before arena combat. What is downranking? If you haven't caught our last video, I suggest you take a look. But essentially, it's using lower ranks of spells in order to save resources. This is, of course, a very vital part of both PvE and PvP. Before I begin, make sure you take a look at our references and links listed below. Here's the message. Player versus player combat can get very messy and chaotic. Therefore, it's important that you keep the necessary ranks on your action bars before jumping into battle. Even then, it can be difficult to implement it to your playstyle. The only way you're gonna get any better is by practicing and playing a lot of games. Maybe even watch a video or two. Most of the healing spells were covered in the previous video, but keep in mind that the volatile nature of PvP will not always grant you the time to stand still, making it even harder to use spells with greater casting times. This is the reason why you want to downrank other types of spells to preserve your mana. Let's talk about diminishing returns. Any crowd control ability you cast in PvP will be severely diminished and ineffective against other players if you cast it within a certain time window. For example, the first polymorph you cast as a mage will last 10 seconds, the one after that will only last 5 seconds and so forth. Spells within the same diminishing returns category will therefore require time to reset. Anywhere between 15 to 20 seconds. Now, why is this important? Well, it means you can still use rank 1 crowd controls in PvP, because higher ranks will not be more effective against other players. Using the same example as above, you can see that rank 1 polymorph will still operate the same way as rank 4 and will cost 90 mana less. Some other examples are the Druid's Entangling Roots, the Priest's Psychic Scream, or the Mage's Frost Nova. Using lower ranks will still be as effective as the higher counterparts and cost considerably less mana. Use your spellbook to determine which ones you could bring into the fight. Crowd control abilities are not the only ones you should be downranking, however. Another example of this is the Shaman Shocks. The Shaman wants to use lower ranks of shocks to interrupt or keep enemies in combat. Most arena fights consist of finding stealthers and making sure enemy players won't grab a drink behind pillars. Common way to deal with this is using rank 1 AoE spells. Reign of Fire, Blizzard, Holy Nova, Volley, Consecration, just to name a few. You don't want to waste all your mana, utilizing spells just to find one rogue. Therefore it's essential that you downrank these spells for maximum efficiency. Speaking of rogues and warriors, they have the same rage and energy cost for all ranks, so let's put them aside for now. The last part of arena gameplay is downranking buffs. PvP also consists of dispelling, and buffs are very expensive in terms of resources. You definitely want to rebuff using rank 1 spells, like Arcane Intellect or Power Word Fortitude. The same goes for debuffs. You can debuff enemy players with lower ranks to keep them in combat. Druids can fairy fire rogues, and priests can use shadow word pain rank 1. But make sure you're using full ranks if you're helping your teammate nuke down an enemy. Saving mana can be the difference between victory or defeat. With that being said, during this first season of arena, not many players have gathered up enough resilience gear to last for longer periods. The dynamics of arena brackets may also change the way you use your spells there's a big difference between 2v2 and 5v5. So it's important you understand how situational PvP really is. Things may not always go the way you planned, but practice until it does. And that's the full story, guys. If you want to read more about next level game mechanics, check the information and links provided in the video description. Join the herd. <laughs> Click all the buttons below and tell us the way it is by leaving a comment.